So without any further ado, now I'd like to welcome the Prime Minister to open your case with the Thank you. Lucas and I believe that the good life is like that. If you look back your life, when you die, when you like leave this world, there's a lot of memory, there's a lot of experience with family or like friends or hobby. And we believe those, those kind of memory like uh, make people happy, make, make people's quality of life like very important thing. And we believe those kind of capitalism and work, work, work is oppress us. And always think about the promotion and narrow the in, those kind of uh, concept, narrow individual's choice and lower the quality of life. That's why we oppose cap, uh, cap capitalism. Yeah, yeah. Two things to talk about. How like career rhythm? <laughs> how this this career rhythm like harm other uh, harm us and how like people's uh, people's choice are not narrowed. And secondly, what I will explain what we instead believe. What the uh, good thing? What the, what what is the good life? I will I will exp uh, explain is. I, I, I go to one by one. But before that, I, I'd like to define today's motion. What is career rhythm? This concept is like is that you have to promote. You and uh, you have to put all things, put prior, put all priority to the promote to work, work, work. And how you can promote or how you can get better job is create your quality of life. This is the concept of the capital rhythm. Right. Let's moving on. <sighs> And how the uh, how like carry them harm uh, harm us, and we we believe that, that this like enslaves us to like the work and make the enable to like uh, to be happy. Those kind of concept enable and uh, make us to uh, to enable to be happy. You have to sacrifice. You have to sacrifice it. The context today is that um, we believe that the America and Japan, the cap, uh, like uh, capitalism, like the in in the way that like people's virtue, virtue is like walk, walk, and walk, and make uh, uh, and those kind of capitalism, uh, those kind of. Comp uh, country make worker and uh, harder and harder in the in the capitalist society. And all you is all you need is superior to others. And every time, forever, you, they have to they, com they have to uh, compete others because they, they, they there is a like career rhythm. No one wants uh, be, uh, even if no one wants to do it. And you ha and, and those kind of context, you have to sacrifice all life. For example, uh, two things. Uh, you, they have to sacrifice time, and uh, even if they ha they want to like wake up 10 a.m. and uh, want to like 10 a.m. They have to wake up five or six uh, o'clock to go far away to the company and uh, uh, finish the job. And because of those kind of sacrifice of time, they. They sacrifice the time with the family. They sacrifice uh, uh, the time to do like hobby or uh, like eating the eating like dinner with friends or something like that. So in the first place, they no thank you. Uh, in in the first place, they like sacrifice the time, which is a very precious thing to do anything. And secondly, they they like accumulate the stress. Every time you have to uh, make effort to compete others because once you like uh, uh, take a rest. Maybe you think you think that others or oh, others are working. Others are like doing harder than me. So only thing in you, in your mind is that you oh I, I have to work, and this uh, create a lot of stress, right? And uh, they might say that uh, might say that. Uh, uh, 
criteria give you the like achievement. But however, we all we we completely deny it. If you if you are promoted and once you like uh, think that oh I, I achieved. However, the, another promote is waiting you, and there is another promote. Rather, uh, and we believe that, that this like never-ending promotes uh, give you the stress and make them the sacrifice of time and stress. And secondly, uh, they they might say that we need money and we need money and we have to have a good career. And what we uh, what we say this is that people have to be relaxed. People use time to enjoy. People um, uh, people people. People are money to enjoy your life, you enjoy your time. So if there is no time, uh, they, even if they like earn a lot of money, they cannot enjoy it. That's why uh, this uh, argument not stand. Friend me. And secondly, what we believe instead is that we well, we want to like balance. Uh, we want to like put a balance between the time and uh, promotion and uh, time or your hobby. So, but before that, okay. Okay, as long as campaign structure does not change to seek profit, still they have to follow campaign rule. Still they have to sacrifice the time because the campaign rule. Why just just be opposite notion? Then the life will be changed. I'm sorry, I just I just oppose the concept of the terrorism. Okay, and work, uh, we, we believe that work is necessary also. However, the most important thing in, is the having the memory and build your memory, precious experience. When you live the life and, when, and you look back your life, how you enjoy your life, how, you, how, how experience you have, how like, uh, how like memory with the family or children you have is, uh, like, uh, is the very important thing. So, and that's why we have to work, uh, that's why we have to work to enjoy these things. Memory, like the memory for trips, uh, like go to museum, like buy, buy collection you want. So, uh, work is, we believe work is for those kind of things. So, uh, Okay, uh, what we say here is that work is not for work, right? Work is not for promote. That's why we say work, we want to say work is for you, you can uh, like rise your quality of life. That's why we think there's a there's need uh, to take a balance between the promotion or work and the time. That's why we are very happy to propose. <laughs> Thank you for the remarks. Now I'd like to welcome leader position to the ten minutes. Get here. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Concept of the career tool is that push individuals incentive to maximize their capacity, and it is a fundamental important both individuals and society. So that's why we propose we proud to oppose this motion. Mary, I have two things to talk about. Firstly, why careerism is ensuring that individual, individuals can have uh, incentive to maximize their own capacity. And second point, uh, why cap uh, capitalism is ensuring that some level of productivity in uh, capitalist society. But I guess that I do remember that here to, to the previous speaker. The previous speaker said that uh, after the taking plan, uh, there are some, um, mm, mm, I don't know, uh, yeah, in the status quo, uh, people continue to seek the uh, careerism and uh, get humble, but it totally doesn't do because uh, if people uh, achieve their career to some extent, uh, there are so there are a certain reward to such a people, and in, in that time they are uh, they are satisfied such a benefit, and it is right. So and it is also natural thing to people want to another benefit to ensure to uh, to seek their capitalism and get the uh, get the social social um, social self. Uh, get socially dependent in the society. Uh, and second point, uh, second position is that uh, the government side totally ensures that uh, the value of the people is important, but 
government uh, surgery uh, don't see the practical harm to the people. So in this status quo, actually, one class balance is some kind of thing, but uh, it is some practical harm. It's a money, monetary harm, like that. So in the short term, there are some mentally happy or some mentally benefit because of their using, uh, not uh, using capitalism. But in the long term, they are troubled about some after they are retiring or something like that. So, mm, and that doesn't explain this point. Why it should be prioritized? Uh, cap should be prioritized. Okay, I got my argument. Uh, why capitalism is ensuring that individuals can have incentive to maximize their own capacity? Firstly, uh, capitalism is uh, capitalism maximizes in uh, individuals' capacity. And uh, why is that? Because uh, if people want to uh, compete the uh, one post, uh, they, they, have, uh, a lot of, uh, they should have a lot of knowledge or skill to ensure uh, to seek their position. And it must need effort to the individuals. And uh, mm, for example, uh, if people want to, uh, the, want to make their career after entering the company, people must uh, have effort or study to uh, get, a, get a great job. And why uh, capitalism ensures uh, such capacity? Because there uh, two points here. First point, uh, the people have the tendency to don't uh, to be lazy. Well, for example, people have the self-defense. People um, have the self-defense, and it means people don't put their uh, people don't put their own in the severe situation, right? So if there is a no norm to be compete, people don't have don't make the effort to commit something like that. No, thank you. And the second point, uh, if there is a no, no norm to the capacity and no the uh, careerism, and uh, surrounding uh, stop the actor doing effort because surrounding uh, things that is uh, the in vain or something like that. And uh, mm, so the those reasons uh, capitalism ensure the benefit that is uh, people must get people should people will have the uh, people will have uh, when they get they get effort. And why this is important? Because uh, this benefit is most tangible, and uh, people's reputation is uh, made by their uh, objective, uh, objective, 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 uh, objective point. Uh, yes. What do you think, lazy people are inherently not believing in terrorism? Mm, I think. Uh, and I think uh, I want to say the general people's tendency, so it's not a specific point, right? So, uh, yeah, the people successful is uh, just begin to uh, think for their own. When the time uh, people, uh, the other people recognize and the do the reputation for their success, it is or oh, you are big or something like that. For example, if uh, the, the people uh, get effort and make effort and finally get the lawyer, people get the river, that people have the happy happiness because they are so simply successful. And second point, my capitalism is uh, ensuring that social uh, some level of productive in capacity society, uh, the uh, capability in society. Uh, uh, first point, uh, so, uh, social is a fragile, a fragile thing. So if there is no one to the effort to uh, make society, uh, such a society is corrupt. Why is that? Because uh, the society needs a uh, uh, maximized produce of the people, of the individuals, right? So, uh, yeah. So uh, capitalism is uh, some work that the people uh, do the maximize, and uh, people have the maximized incentive and do the some um, and commit that some uh, productive in society, right? So and why it is important because. Uh, and uh, this is a direct contribution to the society. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and it means uh, uh, this, and this careerism means this, because of this careerism, uh, company gets a, a most effective benefit to society. Uh, because uh, why is that? Because uh, competition is the most important thing to the company. And uh, this is, and um, capitalism is, is maximize the uh, the level of the. People's uh, people's effort or something like that, and um, yeah. So, what they say is uh, most. Uh
I will say this capitalist makes the most effective output to the company, and if the company have, if the company makes successful to the society, it also makes a, a good a benefit to the society's and the company. So. And totally, as a whole benefit has occurred uh, because of the existence of the uh, existence of the carriers. Uh, from this, from this is we are proud to propose. propose. Thank you for the remarks. Now I'd like to welcome Deputy Prime Minister with some minutes. Here, 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 here. We believe many people in Japan and America, in countries where careerism is a notion that many people believe in. We believe it stresses many people, makes the life, quality of life very, very low because they work from, from 8 in the morning until 11 in the evening, have no time to spend with their families, no time to spend on their hobbies. We believe life is more than that. We believe life is more than work. We believe the memories of the family, that, of the time you spend together with your family, with your friends, the, the, the time you spend or, or with your hobbies are way more important. We believe you're not just a worker, you are a father, a husband, you are a cyclist, you are a reader. We believe you are, you are you as an individual, you should be more than just that. And that's the kind of thing we propose today. And so, two things to do today. First of all, I will talk about the opposition case, why everything they say is not that, um, not that important. And second of all, I will talk about more about why our, what we um, why what we say is so important in nowadays context. Why people and individuals have been driven too much by careerism that they are unhappy, and it's better to oppose this notion. So, first of all, about the opposition, uh, the opening opposition side. Okay. So what they first of all said today is that careerism is good because it gives you many rewards, because it's very efficient, and all these kind of things. First of all, I do not necessarily see what the rewards are on their side, or why they are so important. Maybe what they say is efficiency and money. But we say we already have enough money. What we say that in Japan and in, and in America, people have an abundance of things. We have money, we have a lot of things, we have phones, we have TVs. Why do we need more, more, more? We, really, we think that it's more important to actually use that time to actually enjoy the things that you can buy. Because in their part, they're just buying things or they're getting money, they are counting getting higher and higher numbers of money, but you never actually use it, or even if you use it, you have no time to enjoy it. What's the point in that life? We believe that, therefore, there's no reward in their side, we believe. So, all oh, they said, they said that, um, and that they can get money, that the minimum, so when we're talking about the minimum amount of money that you have, if they're just trying to say, yo, then you don't have any money if you don't believe in careerism. That is untrue. Because obviously, in our paradigm, people are going to work too. They're just not going to focus only on careerism and say, careerism and say, careerism is a supreme value. Obviously, you need life to sustain your, you need money to sustain your life, so you will work to some amount. And obviously, you need money, for example, money to buy books if you are an avid reader, obviously. So you will balance out how much do I work and how much do I actually then enjoy a what I'm, what I do, or what do I do with the money that I get from that work, right? So we, people will not just think about work, 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 get better, better promote, promote more money, money. They talk, think about how to spend that, or how to spend the rest of the time, and find a good balance there. That's the kind of paradigm we promote, okay? So there's no necessity, and um, actually, uh, no problem with that money thing, let me say. And, well, uh, 
they, what did they just say is that as a society, we have to, as a whole, we have to maximize the produce um, that we have as a capitalist society. We believe, uh, in the end, as, a, as, a, as from the government side, if people are happy, it's more than enough. We do not have a bur uh, we do not believe in supreme that society has to maximize and produce more and more. When if that makes people less happy, or we are very, very happy to oppose that. We believe that's exactly the case. This motion does, at uh, least, motion does today. So more about so uh, uh, according to this, what actually the opposition tries to say here is um, uh, is apparently nothing at all. And all this money that they say, the reward that you get, the very thing, the very premise, why you get money in the first place, like you already, my partner said, uh, told you, is you will get money that you can spend it and enjoy it, go on to a trip with your family. But if that is not possible in the time, if you just spend too much time working and only think about your career, then it's not possible. And there's no money in actually achieving that money. So we are the very premise of that case. So we are superior in that case. So more, more about, you know, about our case, right? Why this is so important. So what we say is um, that crazy careerism here has brainwashed the people in the status quo, believing that happiness equals a good career. We believe this is very Unfortunately, true. Uh, we believe, especially in the capitalist society we are talking about, and uh, like my partner so already told you, you take gave the analysis, that uh, people feel a lot of stress because of game theory, right? If you do not do your best right now, somebody else might be working more than you and getting this promotion instead of you. So you have to work, yeah? You have to always be in fear and stress that other people might be over you and because they work more. So you always have to work, work, work in order to compete with these kinds of things. We believe there's an extreme mental stress on you every single day. And because of that, not only mental stress, but also physically, what we believe, if you like work every day, if you like, like Haroshi in Japan, we believe those kinds of things, I don't know the word, yeah, <laughs> happen, happen because of these kinds of notions. Because you work just from morning till dusk, until the, um, deep in the night, just go home, eat something, and then in the morning you'll go back there again. And even if you have a family, you spend very, very few time with that family. You have very few, few time to, to go to your son's school and actually see how he grows up, take pictures of them. You have few time to go cycling or uh, doing some activities and hobbies with your friends. We believe these kind of things are the, actually the all act, um, these things that give quality to your life. Is that makes your life actually livable in the first place. That's the reason why you live in the first place. We believe working is not um, the most important thing in, in these kind of things. Well, concerning this value, they might say on the opposition side that it gives you a sense of achievement, work, right, and careerism, that it makes you feel good. We have two things to say to that. What we first say is that you will, will not be satisfied in the first place of that achievement, right? Because even if you achieve something in a world of careerism, you want more, 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 promotion, 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 right? So even if you get this new nice position, you think about the next position, right? All the enemies you have to take on now, and all the enemies you have to beat in order to get to that next position, and you try to start working. There's no time to actually enjoy and appreciate those kinds of things. And even if you do, we believe, uh, even if that was rather something meaningful, what we say in our side, just compare what they say, what, what they give us an analysis, how work can make people happy, right? There's almost nothing there. But what we tell you comparatively is how the, all these things define us, how these, uh, all these things are so important, like the hobbies, or the time with the family, to actually make fundamentally human beings happy in our side. And we believe, therefore, because money, getting, uh, getting enough money, or not enough money, is not a problem in this debate. We think you have an abundance of things, Things, we have enough money, and that situation should this career and work really, really that essential and, and special for you, or should you rather place your time and your uh, attention to other things? What we say in the comparative is that we believe we gave you a, a, a lot better reasoning, a lot better illustration, quality of argument on our side. And like we already said, the, why we do uh, get money in the first place, in order to use it. So in that case, we are the premise of their case. They have to give us a reason why getting so much money is good if you cannot spend it. So we are proud to propose today. Thank you for the remarks. Now I'd like to welcome Deputy Leader Position within some minutes. Here, here. here, here.
Ladies and gentlemen, we all folks deny that the black company or the zero time of trade or the zero time of time with family. But if they have the room to maximize their own capability, or maximize the potential benefit that they surely can get in the future, we should introduce this carrierism. That's why we plan to oppose this motion. We're going to talk about the two comparative analysis about the firstly, whether or not the individual is going to be happy with the carrierism, and secondly, even, even if that's totally meaningful for the memory of the individual that they propose to their side of the house, why the still the member? Still, like the like uh, carrierism is something beneficial for the social engineering that is necessarily fundamental for every single individual. So, all about the way integrated to my two issues. So, let's move on to my first issue about whether or not the individual can be happy with carrierism. The harm coming from the open government was firstly, there's no time of hobby, or there's no time to spend their own valuable time with the value they are depending on is denied by the terrorism. Firstly, it's not true in the first place. They can, there's some people who have the capacity to, they can of course enjoy during committing a career in the first place. And also we think, even if that is not the case, we think hobby, the individual value is something subjective. That means that it's extremely difficult for the individual to understand the meaning of their own value by themselves. However, on the contrary to that, <coughs> because the human beings have, have, have the nature to, make, to care about the reputation, recognition from the society, from the surroundings people, if their value is denied by others, we think this hobby in itself is something not always beneficial. On the other hand, we think that those kind of career in itself is something objectively, tangibly beneficial for that particular person. We think it's always beneficial. If they can get a certain promotion, they can get all the same sort of nothing here, benefit. This is crucially important for them. Secondly, like, <coughs> Uh, like a uh, stress of the continuous effort, the endless of the promotion, because they, the next promotion is rated, that's why they have to be feel stress. But at the moment they promote in the first place, they can get a certain fame, or they can get a certain benefit from that. The more, for example, more salary is going to be high, or they can get more fame than others. We think that it's going to be beneficial for that. We think terrorism is actually ensuring that system in the first place. So moving on. So, what, how the careerism is benefit for individual at the end of the day? We told you the three three levels of analysis here. The firstly, the laziness of the individual. The closing government pointed out that lazy people doesn't believe in the careerism in the past place. The, this point of information is totally not true because the careerism evaluate individual based on the promotion, the social in, social reputation. Because the human beings care about the reputation. That's why the, if there is no careerism, they will be lazy. But the, if the, because of the careerism, they can they don't uh, they, they are not busy lazy, and they will surely the vast majority of people go into the careerism and uh, go to promote in the first place. No, thank you. And second analysis is about the careerism. The careerism ensure that the people subconsciously make effort to be objectively evaluated because they want to evaluate society. That's why they want, they start to make your effort, to start to make your, maximizing your capacity to, that is gonna be beneficial for that. Even if those, the, no, thank you. At the moment, they are committing to a careerism. They have to be exposed to, the, for example, failure of promotion. However, the, through the process of the careerism, uh, through the process of getting a promotion in society, they can get certain experience, a certain benefit from that. They can get the memory with the, with the competition with their own rival, the career, and so on and so forth. This goal also, that memory is going to be beneficial as, a, as, a, as a well as the memory coming from the opening government in the first place. Yes. Many individuals think that psychological satisfaction is more important material and tangible things. Why do you can make a sweeping generalization that objectivity is always good? We think that objective goal is something always good, and that value is maybe some people want to be evaluated based on the individual value. However, that's an individual value can, can be denied by others. However, that kind of value we are depending on the careerism is not to be so denied by others in the first place. That's a clear benefit coming from the opening operation today. So, secondly, even if there's 
the kernel is something not meaningful for the individual memory, the individual benefit. While the societal, the, so, the, the uh, kernelism is important for the social engineering, why is this cost, that cost of the individual memory to some extent can be justified the thing to do? Firstly, the capitalist society is based on the money, the productivity, is, that is about uh, most of the thing, because the money solves any problem in capital society, especially. This is extremely strange things, I think. But within the actual, the capitalist society is unfortunately is extremely important. For, uh, money is extremely important. The, well, the, in the, under the capitalism, every single individual concentrate on the in one position and seek to be one position by sacrificing yourself and sacrificing your time to, to in order to make your effort. But, but uh, meaning that economic solidarity in society is going to be more and more ensured because it leads to the further competition without thinking any harm they will get. We think that's extremely important because company or the economy is a fundamental basis of society that citizens can ensure to be able to live in the first place because without a strength in society, they have to escape from the society, for example, because a capitalistic society is extremely severe. To change the time to time, the competition or a globalization is severe. That's why this the strong thing to economic society is prior thing because the citizen based on society. This citizen largely because the citizen should depend on society. Citizen cannot live in the society alone. That's why we have to ensure the solidarity in the first place. That this career system is actually a career reason. It's actually ensuring the competition that is basic fundamental basis of capitalism. We think it's gonna be beneficial society society. At this long at the end of the day, Mr. Speaker ladies and gentlemen, within capitalism, ensuring that people can get certain tangible benefit, and ask at the end of the day, it's going to be beneficial for social engineering.